Hey everybody, welcome to Obscurities and Miniatures in what may be perhaps the most insane uh, behind the scenes video that I think I have recorded in quite some time. Because when this video is going up, I'm just barely finishing filming this only a handful of hours prior to it. So, as you can see in front of us, we've got some of the models from Adamant Arsenal's first Kickstarter, The Valiant and the Vile which you can see videos of, as well as some of their basing bits on this channel. And I had a lot of fun with these guys. These were the only two I had handy at the moment. One of the Valiant and the Vile models. And one of the things that I absolutely loved about these guys was just the sheer variety of stuff. And I mean variety of stuff that Adam and Arsenal had put into these guys and just the the variety, the the sheer scope of everything. There are so many parts, and I've got tons and tons of given them away to people to build their own. I've painted a few myself. Um, I just found a stash of them the other day, in fact, along with some of the extra golem bits, so I'm going to have to do something with those. But that's not even what we're going to talk about today. So I knew, and they'd done a set before, but Adam and Arsenal had been planning on doing a modular mech. And I was really keen on what they were going to come up with. And so we've got the bare bones frame of one. And it has a very unique look. Um, I guess you could use it as kind of an armature style. It has a very Metal Gear style to me. Bit of an anime influence, armor core, uh, you name it. You can see a little bit in there. And so this is one of the basic torsos, of which there are now quite a few different ones. Um, it's got a heavy weapon mount and a light weapon mount, and for whatever reason, my resin or the printer, well, the, we'll get to the printer in a sec. <laughs> you can see where this is going to go. It didn't want to, I, I, it looks like it's expanded a little bit too much, so I'm going to probably have to reprint it, but this is one of the weapon platforms that holds the light weapon. So if you want a dual version, there are dual versions, dual heavies, dual lights. You see here, it's got like this kind of cannon sticking out in the front. There's a ton of different options for the central front of it. And then we have a modular option on the side there, of which there's various cannons, guns, radar arrays, you name it. There's quite a few. That's just what I have printed here. And here's a thing, maybe a smoke bomb discharger or something, whatever you want to use it as. One of the other optional bits there for the front. There's all kinds of lenses and things like that. So there's a ton of options there. With the heavy weapons, um, again, which there's a absolute pile of, and don't even mention the stretch goal stuff that brings in even more things. Uh, you know, you've got like heavy cannons like this. I am missing the connector piece, and some of them I printed on the wrong side, but... Um, there is an arm, um, is this the arm option? I believe it is the arm option. So if you want to have them carry it like Battletech style. I don't know which way it goes now. Okay, maybe something like that. This goes here. I know that. I don't have the instructions even handy. It's like after midnight, guys. I apologize. <laughs> but I wanted to get this up because their campaign is ending soon. And I really wanted to show this stuff off. And unfortunately, as I was showing it off, my printer decided that it had had enough printing and was starting to get screwy. And then it started to get really screwy when I saw that they had, you know, if you don't even want to do like the, the digigrade legs, there were like tank tread legs, there were like heavy legs, there's a couple of different, you know, waist options. But then they went full on crazy and we have like full on armor core style. You can have the quad tracks, and you can have a full-on tank mech, and then you can get one with an actual head in there, of which there are many varieties of heads, and if you want to go all grim gothic, you know, you can go with the knight head, and you'll see that there's a big old chunk missing on the back of this guy. He has two heavy weapon mounts. Again, so stick them on there. So if you want to go full-on armor core at that point, I don't even know what kind of cannons these are. There's there's hands, like digital manipulator hands, and if you want to give them like swords and stuff, that's going to be an option as well. There's back-mounted stuff with like drone cases, you know, electronic arrays, tons and tons and tons of stuff. 
you could scale these down for like 15 millimeter games. I left this as is. These are the native resolution that the files are available in. Let me zoom it out just a teeny tiny bit there. And I mean, putting these guys, I mean, I guess you could go like Armature if you wanted to use them that route. I think they're a little too small. Although, with the insanity that is the Adam and Arsenal sculpting crew, who knows? They might just end up doing something, you know, night sized, dare I say, even Titan sized. I hope not. I think that's too nuts. I'm trying to grab my knight here just to give you guys a good view. So I was all set to print up some extra bits for this to get it all, you know, up to snuff, finished a completed model of it. And then I, you know, so my VAT at the bottom, the FEP sheet, decided it was going to completely tear, destroying this torso, destroying the whole rear of the waist unit on this guy, unfortunately. But I figure at the very least, you know, we'll have a nice battle damaged version of it. He's been shot up and, you know, one of the cool things about this torso also, this is the Hunter torso. You'll see it has extra spots on there for various loadouts. I think you have to get creative in mounting everything in there. But again, just the sheer amount of stuff. And if you don't even want to have ground based stuff, they have full on flyer parts as well. Which head is this? Skull head embedded in there. A bit more of an AC looking head. Gotta have your flat guns. If you're gonna go AC style, right? So I think if you wanted to do there's there's just so much I think these types of models can go be used in. You wanna use them in five parsecs, you wanna use them in Oh gosh, what was that game? I can't even think of the name now. There was a game from Osprey with uh, Warhounds, Chrome Hounds, something like that. I, I don't even remember, and it's late, and I can't recall. Part of the pile driver. I had an issue with a few of these parts that I think the resin just did not cooperate with me, and it doesn't want to go in there, unfortunately. Multi blaster. There's just a lot of fun stuff. One of the other things is all of these guns have ooh, very specific mounts, which I had forgotten, and they are supposed to have very specific ammo feeds. So you can see here on the side of the gun, that's where that's supposed to go. Mount it like so. Again, I need to reprint these. But... I can at the moment because, like I said, the FEP sheet at the bottom of the printer is pung, ugh, I can't even talk, punctured multiple times. And, of course, it ruined the screen protector. And, of course, I don't have any, so I had to order those. And I was hoping and hoping that they would have been here in time, but they're not. Which is why I am filming this video at the very last minute. Because I was hoping I'd have everything here. It could print out some nice copies. But no, Entropy is not going to work with me today. Oh, and then I spent the entire evening uh, moving my grandparents into an assisted living home. Uh, that was fun. Because, <laughs> yeah, that's that's a whole other story. We'll save that for another day. But needless to say, they're at least taken care of now. Uh, they're all settled in. And I am going to try to get some sleep myself. We already saw those. Uh, but if you haven't had a chance, if you've got access to a printer, or your friends do, and you want to just abuse theirs, and I wouldn't fault you in the least for that, absolutely, you got to go take a look at the Adam and Arsenal stuff. It is on my mini factory. We'll have a link down below as always. And it's definitely worth checking out. They're good dudes. Um, very fairly priced. They have like a whole sci-fi optional set for their troops that I'm like trying to smash my camera with here. Uh, if you wanted to sci-fi them up and turn them into grim, dark, you know, space knights, that's an option as well if you want to throw that in there. And they have all kinds of options to go with those too. You want to have them marching around with your you know, chrome hounds or metal gears or whatever you want to call them. Just a ton of stuff. Like I said, very fun, very modeler friendly and customizing friendly. So if that's something that you might be interested in, I absolutely wholeheartedly suggest you guys take it a look. 
<sighs> and with that said, I am going to go get some rest and hopefully get to find people in the comments section tomorrow. So, this has been High Lord Tamberlane with Obscurities in Miniatures saying thanks for watching and see you back here soon. Bye-bye.